everyone welcome to my channel welcome to the fairy spring collaboration of 2024 there's nine of us i really recommend that you go and have a look at all the videos and this week we're going to make um i think eight or nine <laughs> different covers for this collaboration so i've been having a look i have a lot of textiles that i quite like i also have some beautiful lace that I would like to use and I've been struggling <laughs> I haven't had that much you know you need that spark I really wanted to use I quite like this but it's you know black and white so not that interesting and I really like this as well that I wanted to use but it's so big ah it was it's been a struggle so my idea i really want to do this size i think it's really pretty it's really cute and tiny and i really like this as well which is some um, music paper i think it would look really good and i have these flowers that i thought would look really nice as well as such and then maybe maybe something like this and then maybe a little, you know, something that says my journal in the middle. Probably a lot smaller than this. I think that would look good. I was also thinking about doing it white at the front. But of course, since it's transparent, you can see the image of the dog at the back. I do really like these flowers. I think I'm definitely going to put the flowers for sure but then I could put some paint and you won't be able to see the dog decisions decisions yeah I like I like both Okay, I quite like this one on top of the flowers. I think it looks fairly good. I'm going to do this. Make it look more like a junk journal. <laughs> And I can probably just put two layers of this paper. I'm sure I have two. Oh, I have this one as well. Which is a lot whiter. This is really pretty. Completely transparent. Like this, you can't see. Okay, I'm just gonna put this at the back. I'm just gonna glue it. I'm gonna use some tacky glue. Let's just make sure that this is clean on both sides. I'm really sorry if I'm making the camera move. If you don't do this, nothing is going to stick. Okay, then... And I'm using a card, as usual. I'm just going to make sure that the glue goes everywhere. And this is a little bit too small. But it covers exactly what we want to cover, so it's going to be fine. And I always have this at hand when I put too much glue. It's so much better to just remove it and then you're sure you're not going to put glue everywhere on your work. Which is very important. <laughs> 
Okay, it's looking great. And now I'm just gonna do this. And you know, sometimes you don't have that much um, inspiration. You know, sometimes you don't have that much inspiration and it's hard and you're like, oh, but I really want to do this today. Sometimes you just have to push through. Sometimes just let it go. It's not for today. Just do it tomorrow. It really depends on people, I think. And also how important <laughs> is it for you to finish that today? If it's deadly important, then just do it. But if it's not, do something else. Doesn't matter. If it's just a deadline you gave yourself, just give yourself another deadline. Okay, this paper is really hard to work with. It works really, really easily. It's very, very transparent. At the back, I think this is going to be the best idea. So I didn't really need to put that one, but that's okay. I'm so happy about this um, music paper. It's my first time using music paper. I didn't have any before. And I just got some uh, in a thrift store. I don't know, I've been using it everywhere. <laughs> And we're probably going to do some embellishments for our journal with these as well. I don't know, I was thinking of some pockets and other stuff. I think we could do so much really interesting things. Do we? I really like this paper, but I don't know if my cutting is going to be neat enough to be able to use it. I have no idea. Let's just try it. I'm gonna cut off this one in the middle that is the unnecessary paper as short as possible. There's glue everywhere. And I do need to cut this off as well. Just gluing the sides and making sure that our extra paper is also glued. So I'm just putting glue on each side of the that extra paper. And it's a bit too small. You can see it doesn't go all the way to the flowers. But we can work with that, that's fine. I usually put a pocket, so that is definitely something we can do. Just put a pocket and hide that. Okay, now let's work with this side here. And again, I'm just gonna cut off the inside paper. And now let's glue the other one and cut it as short as is needed. And as you can see, I am using my card to just push like that and make sure it's all really nice and tight. This paper is so hard to work with. It just breaks. Okay, let's just do a little patch for here. Like that. And like that. And we could probably use a little patch over here as well. Since I don't like how it looks. Okay, well, this is looking pretty great, I think. 
and I really like the idea of using this lace as well. So I'm just going to do it. I don't usually do any paper covers. If you've been following my channel, you will see that I am doing a lot more uh, textile covers with the time. I think they're really cool. <laughs> I like textile. It's pretty fun to, to work with. And paper, sometimes it breaks and it's just, it's a lot harder to work with, I find. So I would love your thoughts on that question. Do you guys use paper or more textile? And if so, why? Are you like me? Do you think that it's just easier to work with paper? Or maybe, like me, you have a huge stash of textile that you just need to use. <laughs> and in that case, I do recommend you have a look at the covers I've been making recently. They're removable covers and I've been doing them. It's like a patchwork cover. I've been doing them um, to just sell in like markets and they're of course for sale in my Etsy shop as well. Entirely made from renewable materials, well reused materials of course, as I usually do. Okay, I think this looks really good. I'm just gonna glue this side here and use some pincers or some clips to make sure they don't move. And this I am not throwing away that little tiny bit we have there because that's exactly the kind of piece of textile that I use for my patchwork removable uh, covers, which I'm really having fun making. I'm thinking of making a lot more <laughs> because we have a, a shop here in Lyon. It's called Atelier des Nouveaux Design, where I can just put on sale stuff that it has to be upcycling. It has to be renewable materials, but I think it's just so amazing to have a shop like that. Okay, I don't know if I want to add something, some image here or not. This is from my own stash. It's not in the digital kits. <sighs> They're not perfect. Can I put journal like this? I don't know. I would like to put a little. These are my labels. It's my own digital kits. And maybe we could put one there in the middle and this. So it's always two page packs. So there's one with lots of fun facts about fairies in this fairy uh, fun facts pack. And then there's always a, an empty one that you can use for whatever you want. <laughs> um, I think I have some that I've cut off already. This would be so pretty, maybe in a round. So this is a flower fairy. Have the little rabbit, it's just a bit too big. I love these fun facts. You have so many really cute things. Like all fairies originated in Ireland. If there's any Irish fee uh, people watching, do comment down below. Oh, I love this one. This is looking pretty good. What else do we have? This 
small fairy one maybe under an empty one for example oh this is really cool i love this one it's too big too small too plain okay guys this one is just ideal i think so i'm just going to glue this one using tacky glue and i make sure it's right in the middle I think it looks really nice and then at the back I have this above all things fairies love music I think it goes really well together I do have a lot of other ones of course and especially this so we could add something like this that looks beautiful yeah I'm just gonna, um, I don't know the word. English language is not that hard, uh, not that easy. <laughs> I don't know, how do you say this? This show. I think I should have like a, a thesaurus or like a list of words, like technical words that you use a lot in scrapbooking and junk journaling and I should just write them somewhere on my table so that I know what to say when <laughs> at times like this I just forget my vocabulary. What other words should I write down like this? Oh, I think there's a word to say this. I don't know what it is. Like, is this to blemish or something like that? Oh, and the word to, um, when you use your bone folder to make that. <laughs> What's that word? Okay, let's just glue this. And I'm just putting it right between these two lines. I think that's the best place to put them. And I'm going to make sure that it's not. Yeah, that's perfect size. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my card. And so is that blemish? I don't know. I'm just gonna do that. Make sure the glue is everywhere. And then we're going to glue it over here as well. And I'm going to use, oh, well, that's another word I would love to have. This, what is this? In French, it's pince. No, that's not straight at all. Oh, and in case you don't know, there's a draw at the end of this uh, month of collaboration. And I haven't done it yet, but I will tell um, the organizer, Karen and Stacy, to just add these feet, uh, sheets here into the draw so that someone can just get them if you want. Uh, you can find all the details in the description down below on how to enter the draw and I think you have to follow us all and just comment on every video that we make which is pretty sweet because it's, it's really nice to have your support with comments and likes and stuff. This is so cool! I love it! And it's so perfect. It says, above all things, fairies love music. So it's just perfect. 
Well guys, this is it. Our cover is done. It's all going to just dry. Uh, I will definitely be putting something here. Probably some lace, but I want to sew in my pages before I do that. So we'll do that in the finishing video, which is going to be number four. And it's going to be published on the 24th of April. The next video will be up on April uh, 10th. And it's going to be making the signatures and decorating a little bit the signatures. Then on April 17th, we're going to be doing some embellishments. And on April 24th, we're going to be doing some binding and completing the journal. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you really soon. Bye!